What up everybody? Good morning. Welcome back. And uh, right now we're gonna air leave the Airbnb and we are headed over to Holly Ford Fest. We got Snickers and uh, it's gonna be a really good time. So uh, here we go. John, hit it. guys so we're over here we just dropped Snickers off in the mass motorsports booth and uh, now we're gonna drive around the vendor midway and the swap meet and let's try to see what's out here so uh, should be a really fun time and then soon we're gonna head over to the Ford era area and uh, I'll see you guys when we get done with all of this fun b-roll enjoy it Alright guys, look who we found. Howdy! And he made it with a crew cab, so yeah. I was dropping some Easter eggs every once in a while, but Craig actually got this thing from the Saudi Daisy Collection. I want you to tell us everything that you did to it. It was a lot, it was a lot. So I flew into Dylan McCool's place Sunday night and Monday morning we started on it. It was sitting out in the field. Hadn't ran in 21 years, it had stuck rockers. The motor was kind of locked up in the valve train area, so we ended up having to take the rocker shafts off of it and beat them and hammer them and get them to actually spin again. Uh, put the whole thing back together, Marvel Mystery Oil, the, the whole nine yards to get it to actually rotate over. Then once we got it to roll over and fire up, the thing actually idled pretty much immediately, which was surprising. So pulled it out of the, the field it was in, put it in Dylan's shop. All the brakes are new, all the valve trains new, uh, brakes master cylinder, uh, all, the, all the fuel systems new. We have a custom, if you walk to the back of this thing, we actually did our, our custom dual tank setup, which Whoa. is pretty rad. So with the selector valve, so we, <laughs> we can pick which, which tank we want to run it off of because the fuel tank that was Dude, inside that of this great. thing was just not, not, not okay. So, oh man, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, we just bypassed it all. We were like, okay, this isn't working. We're going to make our own work. So how yeah. was the drive up? It was fantastic. Honestly, like we left at three this morning, went to bed at two and then just, I fired it up and I was like, just, just work, please. And then I, my first test drive was 8 p.m. last night. Yeah, because we were ready with the truck and trailer. You called me like, uh, come get us. Dude, it was bad. So what I found out was, I mean, I had everything perfectly set up, but the balancers, obviously this motor is kind of old and rusty. So I couldn't read the numbers on the balancer properly. And what, my, what I thought was 10 was actually 10 after top dead center. Uh, so I was literally driving up and down the driveway with it surprisingly running 10 yeah, degrees after top dead center. So I put it at 10 before top dead center. And it works and, great. And then I did a third gear burnout down the driveway. And I was like, sweet, we're Hell good. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's great. It's uh So what you're saying is it burns out. I think it might, yeah. Burn well, I don't know about well on dirt. I don't know about the, these tires, but uh, with a little with enough like, oh, yeah, like you did soap, put new tires on. It'll do it, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I got the the 16 the 16 inch steelies now and 
a matching set because it had 16 fives on one side and 16s on the other. But now we just need to find you some hubcaps. Maybe there's someone yeah. to swap me. Yeah, that'd be perfect. That'd be cool. If not, I got some. I'll ship it to you. Yeah. Well, that's cool. awesome, dude. What's the plans for it? I think we're gonna get it back home, and immediately I'm gonna put my truck on a trailer just for photos and drive it around just to make it look cool. Hell yeah. But I think long-term goal is a diesels and make it make it a tow rig, uh, four by and a good old five-speed or six-speed in it. it would be pretty rad. Hell yeah. So make it a clean, hey, clean, Dylan. Look clean at deal. That. Yeah. Well, that's awesome, dude. I'm so happy that you're here. I love that I'm gonna start seeing trucks that come out of Saudi Daisy. Yeah, back actually. On the road. Yeah, I know. That's so cool. This is like the first one other than my truck. Yeah, that's good because this one was like black. Like it, it does not look anything. I like can't it believe did. you got the tint off the windshield. Yeah, <laughs> dude, it was bad. Oh my god. I can't gosh. wait to see the videos. It's probably so satisfying. It is extremely. There's a whole like video on just the satisfying back and forth Hell taking yeah. all the stuff off of it. Awesome. Well, we're yeah. gonna keep running around and. Uh, Thanks for letting us see yeah. a little bit of it. Yeah, of course, thanks, buddy. Alright guys, so we're just cruising around, driving around, and I want to stop in to talk to Brian here at Stifler's because as you guys have seen, I'm going to be working on my 99 Expedition, trying to make a Thunder clone, and uh, we need good suspension. So Brian, tell us a little bit about what you have over here. So uh, for uh, for the F-150 that you're going to be working on, uh, we have a set of tubular lower control arms, and <clears throat> when we designed this, we designed it in mind to cover both bases. A guy that wants to use a conventional spring and shock type of suspension or if they want to use a coil over. So <clears throat> this one arm is is basically it's identical from either uh, for either option and the spring seat simply bolts in place. Wow. So you can run your shock up through here, conventional shock, bolt it up, spring index right there. Or if you choose to swap over to a coil over, you can simply unbolt that. It becomes this and then your coilover goes in here and then we have a spacer kit with the bolt and everything to, to awesome. quickly convert over. Um, but yeah, you're hitting, uh, you're kind of killing two birds with one stone so a guy doesn't have to buy two different sets of arms if he ever wants to Yeah, you can change. start out with the regular ones and just Absolutely, we've got a lot of customers that do that. And then uh, for the upper control arm, <clears throat> this is what we have right here. So, uh, it is, uh, for any application that we've ever seen, uh, either directly at our shop or through customers, there is, nobody's ever installed these that they can't get the factory geometry. There is so much adjustability in these arms. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they look great. You know, they're, they're, uh, they last forever. Um, and it's a, it's a great application, you know, for anybody that wants to drop their truck or even, you know, uh, factory ride height. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to get that stuff on there because I want to lower the truck, but I also want the handling to get there, and this will do both of those. Absolutely, it will. Yeah. You'll be happy. Thank you. Well, thanks for talking to us a little bit about it. We're going to keep running around, and I'll see you around. Sounds great. Thank Appreciate you. it.
So I don't know exactly what John recorded. I definitely just edited it for you and it looked awesome, I'm sure. But uh, right now we're going on the countryside cruise. I'm gonna be leading with Goldust. Goldust already parked, but right now I'm gonna hop in with uh, these guys in the trailer park limo, the white privilege edition. And uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun, so let's go. Now the fun starts. 
And uh, over here, they're gonna start drifting. Got all the drift cars just did a practice lap. And uh, here we go, there's one F100. And uh, John's gonna get some pretty cool shots. Enjoy them. All right guys, so uh, basically we haven't really been recording for a few hours because we've just been having fun. And uh, a lot of the times that's kind of what is better. It's just better to just hang out, have fun. John did get a bunch of cool stuff. I mean, the show's nuts. You guys see all everything before this clip. It's really cool. What I wanted to show you guys, you probably saw some pictures and videos, but I've never shown it on the channel because I've never had this truck before, is this truck. So this is a 1968 Ford F100. Um, I've been building it for a little while. I bought the truck uh, in LA a while ago. A lot of the work was done and it's got a Gen 2 Crate Coyote with a Tremec Magnum six speed from American Powertrain, QA1 front and rear suspension, six piston Willwood brakes, a uh, bunch, um, bunch of other really cool stuff. It's all original paint uh super solid truck and then the interior was done by fat fender garage and they did custom cnc door panels it's all wrapped in uh beautiful Morin giles leather i believe we did really nice i mean everything in this thing is just like top notch so i got it today travis from uh Arizona came out to the show. He brought this out for me and I just figured I'd show it to you guys So let's pop the hood. I'm sure but he's like, oh, it's got a coyote. I want to see Here we go, so just a really clean and tidy truck and I actually uh, This whole truck was a build to you know build it finish it and sell it the truck's not a hundred percent finished yet um, but it runs and drives all the you know the mechanical stuff are done and now it's just like little stuff need to be finished you know the interior door handles it needs the mirrors and i don't like that the wheels are chrome or polished stuff like that um, but if anybody's interested in the truck shoot me an email sl at fordera.com and uh we could figure something out uh, and then we're gonna end this video over here. So if you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you. And if you can, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, drop a comment below. Let me know what was your favorite part of this whole video. And we'll see you tomorrow in another video of Holly Ford Fest. Peace.